2024 has been one crazy year filled with all types of twists, turns, and surprises. Now you may think I'm talking about politics, but no. I'm talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. And when I say Sonic the Hedgehog, I mean Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, I know I'm not the only one who noticed this, but there's been a completely different vibe when it comes to Sonic X Shadow Generation. The aura of this game is overall just different when it comes to Sega, when it comes to the fan base, just everything in general. There is genuine excitement and hype for Sonic X Shadow Generations, and it's all positive. Even Sega knows it. They're like, oh, you guys are actually liking this, huh? That's crazy. You guys don't typically like anything we do. Well, ain't that just a kick in the head? <laughs> Now, to be fair, there were a few people that were accusing this game of looking like Sonic Forces, but it is imperative that we understand that their opinions do not really matter. I'm sorry, they really don't. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but they were proven wrong within like 24 hours when people like Games Cage decided to go play the game and record the footage. When that happened, all their arguments got utterly destroyed. Not only do you have multiple pathways to take, but you also have the use of chaos control and they actually implement this in very creative ways that make Shadow's gameplay unique in comparison to Sonic's. Not only that, but from the footage that we've been shown, it seems like the levels are gonna be a pretty decent length. And the best part of all of it is that it looks oh so very polished. I've been saying for a good minute now that Sonic Generations is the most polished 3D Sonic game to ever exist. And <laughs> now, well, they continue that trend with Sonic X Shadow Generations. We haven't even gotten footage of the open zone yet. This is why I say this game is genius, because this allows Sonic Team to get a little bit more practice when it comes to this open world stuff in a smaller, much more compact game. Therefore, the developers can see what works and what doesn't and prepare for the next Sonic Frontier style game. Good job, Sega. I don't get to say that often unless if I'm playing a Yakuza game, but good job, Sega. Heck, even from a marketing standpoint, they've also got it made. This game is basically a port of an already good game plus Shadow the Hedgehog. And with the good reception that they have, you're gonna make some pretty darn good sales. Not only that, but it's riding the hype train of the third Sonic movie, which will feature Shadow the Hedgehog. Do you know how many little kids are gonna be like, wow, this Shadow the Hedgehog guy is really cool. I would love to play as him. Well, you're in luck, young one. The next Sonic game just came out and it's called Sonic X Shadow Generations. You should go pick it up right now. I mean, it just works. It's, it's brilliant, it's amazing. People are gonna have Sonic and Shadow on their minds itching for more. And Shadow being a fan favorite character, this works for both old longtime fans and also newcomers as well. But not only that, we got our own Shadow anime that goes with the game. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna be on Crunchyroll or anything like that, but you know, it's gonna be a three episode Shadow the Hedgehog anime. We just saw the teaser not too long ago. That thing looks amazing. I mean, that's pretty good. They got the CGI going and everything. That That is pretty good. They even showed a Meryl. Do you know? Who Amaro is? That Shadow Amaro fight will be amazing in anime. I'm serious. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be cool. Three episodes of a Shadow anime. You, you know, you never thought you'd see the day. But here we are. And it's all written by the GOAT, Ian Flynn. I know some people have problems with the writing of Ian Flynn, but it's essential that you understand that their opinions do not matter. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Okay, I am. I am trying to be rude. But come on, Ian Flynn, he is the guy that brought back the soul of Sonic. We had to go into the meta era for 10 years straight, ever since 2010, ever since the start of Sonic Colors, without feeling like we were listening to Sonic the Hedgehog. You know what I'm saying? The soul of Sonic was gone, but then he brought it back. I give this man nothing but specifically respect. And I will be reviewing those anime episodes when they come out. Make sure you subscribe for that too. This game is pretty much set to sell copies. More than Sonic Frontiers, I'd say. All they've got to do is make sure that the third Sonic movie is good, which, you know, I think it'll be good, but... Hey, you never know what Paramount. They might just say, hey, let's focus on random human characters that nobody cares about. Who needs Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow when we've got Wade? Like, not trying to be rude or anything, but we are kind of dealing with a company like that. They will wake up in the morning and think that that's a good idea. Hey, Paramount, I'm gonna let you know right now, I do not care about Donut Lord, nor do I care about his fine wife, Tika Sumter. You can put her in a bikini and I still won't be moved, I think. I don't care about Tika Sumter's sister and her marriage problems. You can stay single, you be aight. And I don't care about Wade. I'm sorry, 
please stop. Stop doing this. We've got enough characters now. We've got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, Eggman, and his assistant. There should be no reason why you divert focus from them to some rando, okay? Now, Paramount, if you want to focus on some human characters, Maria. That's all I gotta say. Maria and Dr. Gerald Robotnik. If you can do that, goaded. But that's more of a problem that Paramount has to worry about. As for Sega, well, they're doing good. Really good. Too good, actually. It's actually scary. All of this to essentially say, Sonic X Shadow Generations is absolutely brilliant. They've checked almost all the boxes. They've made a hype game with fun mechanics, polished gameplay, and cinematics, utilizing gameplay elements from Sonic Frontiers as a means to see what works for future games, connecting it with a well-animated episodic anime with good voice direction, a good writer that actually cares about the series, while simultaneously riding the hype train of a new movie that's at least going to make half a billion dollars. Sega, take my money and take this W. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Up and over. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Up and over. Yeah. Anyways, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Come and join the Vagabond's journey. And tell me, what do you think about this game? Do you like what you see? Do you hate what you see? Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Till next time, guys. Vagabond gone.